वेलकम फ्रेंड्स टू द गोइंकन स्पीच स्क्वाड विथ मी सोमनाथ मुखर्जी योर कम्युनिकेशन एंड सॉफ्ट स्किल ट्रेनर आई हैव ऑलवेज नोटिस दैट पीपल अराउंड मी कीप ऑन आस्किंग अबाउट हाउ मेनी ब्रदर्स एंड सिस्टर्स डू यू हैव इवन देयर आर पीपल हु कीप ऑन टॉकिंग एंड आस्किंग अबाउट आवर फैमिली सो टुडे इन दिस वीडियो वी आर गोइंग टू लर्न हाउ टू टॉक अबाउट आवर फैमिली एंड व्हाट आर द नेम्स इन इंग्लिश वी गिव टू द डिफरेंट काइंड ऑफ रिलेशनशिप्स वी हैव इन आवर लाइफ now talking about family before starting it we need to know what are the types of family basically there are two types of family extended family and immediate family or joint family or nuclear family you can see in the white board i have bifurcated family into two types extended family and immediate family so friends do remember if somebody asks you about your family you should not elaborate too much because that is not the right way means i have two brothers three sisters i have grandfather grandmother i have two cousins i have two uncles two aunties no this is not the right way to talk about your family so first we need to know which family do we need to talk about we need to talk about our immediate family or nuclear family so who are the members those who are or belong to the immediate family they are our parents that is father and mother then siblings the word we use for our brother and sister is siblings and the word that we use for our father and mother is parents now if we have if we are born if my sister or brother is born before me actually if i have somebody brother or sister who is born before me then they will be called as elder brother or elder sister if i have brother or sister who are born after my birth they will be called as younger brother or younger sister so what are the two th words that we learn elder brother younger brother elder brother younger brother so suppose you have two brothers elder to you then you will call the first brother as eldest brother and the second brother as elder brother okay so what we learn eldest brother elder brother youngest brother younger brother or youngest sister younger brother sister now there is also an important thing we should not say i have a father i have a mother no that is not the right way i have a father i have a mother i have a sister i have a brother no that is not at all right if you for example you stay with your parents then you must say i stay with you should use the phrase i stay with and not i have a father that is not right if you are staying with your father and mother you will be saying i stay with my parents i stay with my parents because if you say parents people will understand that you stay with your father and mother and for example if you don't have any brother and sister then what are you going to say you are going to say i am the only child i am the only child of my parents i am the only child of my parents but you will not say i have a father i have a mother i stay with a brother i stay with a sister no or and two brothers so never say i have a father or never say i have two i stay with two brothers we should always use i stay with my parents i am a only child of my parents or my brothers and sisters so do you remember if somebody asks you about your family you are going to start with your nuclear family or your immediate members of your family so what 
two things you will be saying that I stay with my parents and my brother, elder brother or younger brother. Do not forget to say about elder and younger because that is the relationship. If you don't mention the word elder or younger, then people will keep on asking or thinking that is the brother elder to you or is the brother younger to you or is the brother younger to you or is the sister younger to you. So you need to mention the relationship elder or younger and next thing is that you should say if you don't stay with your parents or sometimes you are out then you should mention the place where your parents stay for example uh, I stay alone but my parents I stay alone but my parents stay at bird one so that gives your uh, listener uh, impression that you are staying alone but your parents are there who are staying somewhere else but don't tell them that I am staying alone and my parents are staying at their home that's not right and remember in Indianism we always keep on boasting that I belong from a Rajput family I belong from a Brahmin family I belong from a Kshatriya family no you are not going to tell about your caste you are not going to tell about your race that is not right or you will not say I am a Tamilian Brahmin nobody ha is interested to know you belong from which uh, place or which race that is not the right way you will just keep your family introduction simple short and quickie so what you are going to say you are just going to say about your immediate family whether you are the only child or you have elder brother or elder sister and you will be mentioning the relationship and you will not start with the I have a father I have a mother and not say that I have two brothers that is not correct you need to mention the relationship now we will be moving on to the next part which will be talking about the extended family